Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, um, first of all, thank you guys for um, for watching my previous videos on my, the many problems that I was having with Battlefield 4. Uh, a couple of you guys commented too, so really appreciate it. Uh, this is a very small channel with uh, very few subscribers and very few views. So, you know, if you take the time to take a look at my videos, great, appreciate it, and uh, thanks for commenting uh, on, on them as well. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, so an update on that, actually, I actually have um, that Battlefield, uh, the third update, I believe it was, could have been the second or third update, uh, I checked for an update, been on an updated, uh, reinstalled my driver, and now it looks like the game's actually running pretty well for me. Uh, I haven't had a, a system reboot uh, ever since I did the, um, I reinstalled that 13 uh, beta driver, and of course the update from Battlefield, Battlefield 4. So yeah, I um oh my god, just completely got destroyed right there. <laughs> Saw like 15 guys out running towards me. I got two of them, but yeah. So I you know it's now working. I'm very very happy. I'm actually spending a lot of time on the game now, um, trying out the weapons and things like that, which I'll, without too many problems. It's still there's some server crashes, but I think I'm uh, more in the realm of normal server uh, server crashes and more what uh, people are experiencing. Uh, the people who uh, had, didn't have too many problems uh, that uh, some of us were having, were, which were, where we were getting the, the the reboots, the red screen of death, the, black, the blue screen of death as well. So ever since then, it's it's been running pretty smooth. Couple, uh, uh, I guess, hitches here and there as far as uh, server crashes, but for the most part, it's running decent. And uh, by the way, this gameplay is actually recorded through Avid Media, uh, so I uh, I got tired of using fraps because it was taking up too much of uh, my disc, uh, disc uh, space <laughs> disc space and um, yeah so I had to get rid of fraps fraps was too much of a, a drain on my system and uh, it actually was uh, the pro it was taking a lot of processing power too so I, 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 I went on and uh, took the plunge and ordered the Avermedia. media uh, I heard a lot of good reviews on that one so I was like oh I'm gonna get it and Actually, uh, this is the gameplay from it, so it looks pretty good, actually. Uh, this is 1080p, um, you know, looks slightly better than Fraps. So, like I said, the main thing was the processing power. I wasn't able to play online, especially Battlefield 4. You know, I don't have the, the greatest, um, latest, greatest uh, graphics card, so I pretty much have to be careful of, uh, you know, things running in the background. But uh, So, yeah, this is a uh, uh, pretty good good looking gameplay I think so uh, you know you guys let me know what you think uh, maybe you can look at a couple of my other videos and let me know if it's a, an improvement it's kinda hard for me to tell I know there's an improvement I just can't tell how how much uh, so but anyway um, so yeah um, that's the update uh, I, I wanted to talk to you guys about the, the gunplay and like what I thought about Battlefield so far uh, Battlefield 4 uh, first of all I'm using the Scar, L, uh, the Scar H I almost said the Scar L Scar H. Uh, I was a big, big fan of the Scar L on Battlefield 3. Uh, I mean, I had tons of kills with it on Xbox. I had like 40,000 kills with that gun. <laughs> I really dedicated to that gun. And uh, I, even though I knew it was the slowest, one of the slowest shooting, if not the slowest, sh slowest shooting uh, assault rifle, um, I still used it mainly because I liked it. I liked the sound of it. I liked the way it shot, and I liked it. It had very little recoil and. Uh, I, I just like the gun. Um, there were situations where, you know, I got shot on because, you know, I was using Scar L. But like I said, you know, it's all about having fun. For me, uh, I'm not so concerned about kill death ratio. As long as I get above my deaths, I think I'm doing well, you know. So, uh, <clears throat> but I normally didn't do too too bad uh, on Xbox playing some pretty good players with the Scar L. I pretty much mainly went uh, positive, so it was a good thing. But I uh, use it extensively. On Battlefield 4, however, they made they used the Scar H for the assault class instead of the Scar, Scar L, um, which I knew from the demo or, for, or from the beta. And you know, it's a good gun, man. It really is. I used uh, I put about 20 hours into it as of today, and uh, so I spent a lot of time on this game already. And I um, played a lot of the assault class. I've been mainly sticking with the assault class, trying the assault rifles and pretty sure that the Scar H is the best assault rifle there is. I still haven't really used the AEK too much, partly because I just don't like the AEK. I never liked it and I don't want to like it because it's everyone's go-to gun and I just want to stay away from those guns, you know, but 
Uh, I, eventually, I will get to trying it, but I think the fire rate's probably too fast for me. I don't like the fast fire uh, fire rate on, on a weapon, but Scar H is the damage is so good, man. Uh, like I spent a lot of time using the C C Z. Uh, I believe it's C Z. Uh, we'll have to double check on that, but uh, the C Z gun. I, I wasn't. Um, I don't know. I wanted to like that gun. I really wanted to like it, partly because uh, it looks kind of like the Scar, the Scar L and the Scar H. It, it has that same kind of look, but uh, it's a CZ 805. And but the problem with that one is the damage isn't as high as the Scar H, and neither is the range, and neither is a, uh, uh, a few other things. I just really didn't like it. Um, I really didn't. Uh, I I wanted to like it. Like I said, I, I put a lot of time into it to try to see if I can get, um, the, you know, un get some unlocks for it. Maybe that'll improve it. But no, no, not at all. The once I put it, I tried to put a the three dot four scope on it, and it's just the recoil was so bad on it. Uh, so I just I, I kind of you know gave up on that gun. Uh, I tried a few of the other weapons. Of course, the uh, AUG. I had to try the AUG. I, I love the AUG on Battlefield Three. Again, one of my favorite weapons. But uh, it's a little, feels a little bit different, but not too far off. I mean, I actually, the the, the AUG would be uh, a gun, probably my second favorite weapon uh, on Battlefield 4. Um, it has very little recoil, it has a decent rate of fire, and the damage is just like any other um, assault rifle, pretty much. So I really like the AUG. I'm probably going to be gonna my second go-to gun. Uh, a few other guns I use, like the SAR-21. The SAR-21 has, uh, the, again, the same very very slow rate of fires I think it's one of the slowest uh, on, on the assault class it's very very slow rate doesn't have too much recoil but it, it's now <laughs> the SAR is a uh, battlefield 4's uh, SCAR L it's, it suffers from too slow fire rate the fire rate is way too slow and the damage is it just it really shouldn't even be in the game they, they really need to do something with the SAR 21 so it's gonna be one of those you know, the SCAR L type deals with that gun, I feel, and uh, again, that's a gun that I really wanted to like as well. It feels what great to shoot, but it's just, just too slow. As I grab the uh, Terminator, uh, fucking, <laughs> fucking um, grenade launcher there, uh, I had, I kind of had a blast with that one. That's like, I think that was the first time I ever picked that weapon up, and I, it was kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so that gun I didn't really like. And this is just pretty much. Mainly dealing with the assault class. It's one of my favorite classes. It's one the class that I use the most. I may, uh, you know, every, you know, most situations if, if I'm on a, on, on a vehicle stage, I will switch to the engineer class. But for the most part, uh, I stick with the assault and I stay away from the heavy vehicle stages. So, um, but yeah, so I, I, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really a fan of many of the guns. Really, uh, I think my my top would be um, what I feel is best for me would be the Scar H. Uh, would be my number one. The second will probably be the AUG A3 or the M16. And then from there on, it's pretty much a toss up. Uh, I have not unlocked the um, the last two assignment weapons, which is the Ace 23 and the QBZ 951. I have not unlocked those weapons or used them at all, so I'm not sure. But uh, it doesn't look like either one of them are going to be in all that impressive because uh, the damage is the same and the fire rate is the same as just about all the other weapons so it doesn't really feel any variety maybe they have different recoil and things like that which give it a different feel but for the most part I'm not really that excited about it maybe the ace 23 I'm kinda just excited just to see how it feels but you know I think I'm pretty much set with my scar H I really wish they would improve the um, add 26 bullets instead of 21 and then it would be perfect it really would be probably the god gun <laughs> maybe they have to take the damage back a little bit but uh i really the 21 it always gets me in these weird situations where like ah you know i waste a whole clip and then the pistols on this game are so bad or i should say the the handguns on this game i i don't like them um the let's see the p226 is what i'm using i haven't really switched uh because i stick with that one but uh, I try the Rex as well, and the Rex is a little bit different. <laughs> is it? I I'm man. It shoots more like the um, like the Magnum of Battlefield 3. It's very slow rate of fire, and and very different from the Rex that like I used to love on Battlefield 3. But uh, I have I tried it a couple times. Like fuck this, I got rid of that gun. But um, 
yeah, so that's pretty much where I am now. Um, I have still some unlocks to go, so uh, I think I find my found my combo, uh, my setup for my Scar H, and it's going to be using the um, Hollow uh, graphic site with along with the uh, two times uh, secondary scope, and that's going to be my setup, of course, with the grenade launcher and just running around. So that is my setup, and I, I'm really, really loving it. Um, so you know, you guys, let me know what you think. Those three of you that are watching this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think, man. You, you know, leave a comment. Let me know it, you, what gun do you guys like? Which setup do you like? Uh, what is your favorite weapon? What do you think of Battlefield 4 so far? Uh, uh, thanks, man. Leave a comment below. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.